Hello, my name is Gabriel, and today I'm bringing you my top five Wednesday for top five female leads. Yes, I am aware that this isn't this week's top five Wednesday, but this one seems like a really fun one to do, and I actually have enough books to do it, and I'm so excited. Let's do this. My number five pick is Liesl Memminger or Memminger of The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Liesl is such an inspiring character. There are no words to describe how amazing this book and Liesl are. There's a reason that this book is so hyped about and I highly recommend you pick it up. Coming back to Liesl, she's a reader but she doesn't know how to read, if you can get me. She is like us, she wants to travel to other worlds, but it pains her that she can't, and she is finally learning how, and I really admire that about her. My number four is June Iperis, or Iperis, of the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu. June is awesome. I absolutely love June. She's smart, she's talented, and on top of all of that, she likes action. She doesn't like staying. June is also very pretty in my head, so that doesn't hurt at all. Like I said, she's smart, likes action. She's willing to give up a lot for day. She also changed changes a lot in this novel and character growth is something very important to me. That's why June is my number four. Number three is Kala of the Nightshade series by Andrea Kramer. Now I've only read the first one but I absolutely love the main character. She is, the thing I love most about her is that she's willing to stand up to her kinds, culture, and nature. She is willing to protect her femininity, I think that's how you say it, and she is standing up for the women in this book because they are so downgrading, like, it's insane. It just, and she is willing to fight against that. On top of that, she is a werewolf, which also really helps. One thing I don't like about Kala, however, is that her brain turns to mush when it comes to love, but doesn't all of ours. Kala, very, with her feet on the ground, you get me like, she has an opinion and she's sticking to it and she's voicing it and I respect her for that. Number two is Cinder of the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. Cinder, the book Cinder was awesomely fun to read, but the character Cinder was so good. I was not expecting to like Cinder, but I did, and a lot actually. It's not really on the things she does or her personality, but I just really like Cinder. She has a different thought process than everyone because she is obviously a cyborg. She likes to do stuff differently. She's very creative and artistic, I guess. She also gets stuff done. It's a Cinder, okay? It's a Cinder. Throughout the book, Cinder is very interesting and it's cool to see the decisions she makes. Some you agree with, some you don't agree with. But yeah, Cinder, my number two. And if you haven't guessed by now, the book that is missing on my shelf is These Broken Stars main character, Lilac LaRouche. I adore Lilac. I can't express enough how much I loved her character growth and the way she falls in love with the lead. It's so many feels, like a, a, a great deal of feels is given to you by this book. Lilac at the beginning is a really unlikable character actually, but by the end she has changed so much. She is a completely different person. She makes decisions and she does things like that she has never even dreamt of doing before. What happens in this book happens and I love her and this and everything and just yeah. So that was it you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun to film. I think I'm gonna do more. See you next time. Goodbye! Her feminine, the 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 she the 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 the
Today I'm bringing you my top 5 Wednesday for the 